Okay, so now I have this pillow all pin closed using the anchor stitch. I just turned this open seam over and pinned it real close. So when I sew the top of it, I'm going to sew a stitch right on top of the brown and and it's going to come right out in between the brown and the piping right here. So what we're going to do, we're still going to use the piping foot, but this time um, we're going to be sewing along the edge right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get my pillow. It's kind of puffy, so you just got to stick it in there. I'm going to start a little bit over where it's not, where it's still closed. So let me take this out just to make sure I caught it. See, that's where my my stitch head ended right here. So I want to make sure I get on top of that. So I'll start sewing. And this one is a lot about holding and manipulating the pillow and where you're sewing. So when you're sewing it, just take your time and if you have to, reach over here and use your hand wheel on your sewing machine, which I don't mind doing that at all, especially in situations like this. And so I'm going to slowly go around. There we go. Let me pull this thread out. This is from the hole in my piping foot. Now, not a lot of these have a little area for your thread to go behind the foot like a regular sewing foot does. So you just have to wait for it to come out. If you have a piping foot, you, you see that. Okay. And you just need to be real careful right here because you just want to have to sew it once. If you take your time, you will only have to sew it once. There we go. And I've actually done this where I did the whole thing by just using my hand wheel. And if that's how you feel comfortable doing it, that's what you should do. Looks like it's turning out really good so far though. Let me flip it over and see. Yep, it's landing right where I want it to land, right there in between. And that's just from holding it the way it should be like you just need to manipulate it and hold it and if it doesn't want to do what you want it to do just hold it and use your hand wheel like this which I think works out really well okay so we're getting close when we have one more pin to go I'm just gonna go ahead and take that out and okay so we're almost there and when I get here I'm just gonna do a back stitch back stitches are very important. It's a tiny one though. So you pull it out of here. I'm going to trim this thread off. Right there. Right there. Let me turn it over and see how that looks. That looks really good. Some of this is just the extra thread that I had. Let me see if I can cut this off right quick. Here we go. Cut that off. Move that, and there's another piece right there. Looks really good. I think I've got a little bit of outline right there, but that's okay. It still looks really good. And so this is my pillow, and if you make yours, good luck on it. It was fun.